my channel success engineering official so we have uh, seen in the last tutorials uh, how to calculate the pipe size using uh, micro pipe sizer and uh, then we have to use the velocity plus friction method now we have to look for the first method velocity method only in this velocity method you have to look for this uh, velocity only so let me open this uh, excel ok so in this you have to see this velocity method uh, you can see here for the roof piping the maximum velocity is 15 feet per second and recommended is 10 feet per second for the riser 7 to 10 feet and recommended is 7 feet and for the floor piping 5 to 7 feet so you have to look for this velocity only in this software so how to use it I will show you guys so first of all you have to look for this piping so you can see here this is the your floor piping that means the piping which is run above the floor so you can see this is chiller is on the roof that means this is the roof piping okay from E to B okay so what will be the pipe size for this so in this you can see for the roof piping you have to look for the recommended velocity is 10 feet per second maximum maximum is 15 and recommended is 10 so we have to require you have to calculate the pipe size using pipe sizer so for this one you have to look for the velocity and you require the gpm so you can see here gpm is 1440 okay so what you will do simply enter here gpm 40 and uh, you have to, for example, I'm going to select this any one of the pipe 2 inch and then you have to look for this uh, fluid velocity, it should be less than equal to 10 feet. Okay, so you can see here this is 3 point and enter the GPM here first. Select the pipe, any pipe. So I'm selecting the 2 inch, for example, just to check this. Okay, so 1440. Now you can see this fluid velocity is 137 feet per second. That means this is not meet our requirement, our condition. It should be less than or equal to 10 feet. That means you have to increase the pipe size. So I'm going to select the 3 inch. And again you enter the GPM. Now we again verify your fluid velocity is 62 feet per second. Okay. That means again it is not uh, meet our requirement. That means you need to further increase the pipe size. So I'm going to check with 4 inch and select the 4 inch and enter the GPM. Okay. So uh, you have to see here 36 feet per second fluid velocity. That means again you have to need to increase the further pipe size. So I'm going to check now with 6 inch. So select the 6 inch here and now enter the GPM. And look for this fluid velocity is now 15.9 feet per second that means you have to further in case it should be less than or equal to 10 feet per second that means you have to check with that 8 inch okay so simply select this pipe size and enter the gpm here and now you can see here this fluid velocity is 9.2 feet per second that means this is uh, meet your condition first condition this is the roof piping ok so recommended velocity is 10 feet per second so here you can see here your pipe size is 8 inch and uh, GPM is 1440 and fluid velocity is 9.2 feet per second that means this is your this will be your pipe size that means your condition is meet here that means you have to, uh, this, this will be your pipe size ok so I think you guys learn how to calculate the pipe size using velocity method okay? and uh, how to use this macro pipe sizer. So I hope you guys learn something from this video. If you like, if you learn something from this video, so please like, share and subscribe my channel and please share my video with friends so they will get the benefit of my this video. So thank you for watching my video. I think you guys learn how to use this micro pipe sizer. I have explained, I try to explain you the example. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye bye.
we'll meet in the next tutorial so thank you for watching my video thank you once again bye bye